Uh, joining us now is Congressman Lloyd Doggett of Texas. He's a member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Sir, thank you very much for being here tonight. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Rachel. You've got it just right. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. Let me, I wanted to get your reaction to this Washington Post reporting tonight and what it means for this effort that, that your committee's been fighting. It's just another amazing development. Uh, it means that when Secretary Mnuchin told me in the committee hearing on March the 7th that he couldn't answer my questions and he needed more legal advice, he already had legal advice. And he had it when he's made these multiple subsequent excuses in responding or non-responding to the committee. Uh, you know, I believe that there is no legal advice that will stop the lawlessness and the lies of this administration. And that's why Congress needs to act firmly now to use every tool it has available to get this information that Trump so fears that the public will see and uh, to, uh, to take uh, action. I believe it's gonna require fines or confinement uh, under our power of inherent contempt to get the information we need and to get all these other people that under what seems to be gang rule are told don't say anything and don't provide anything. Total silence, total obstruction. Who would you expect would need to be fined or confined in your, in your words there in order to compel respect for this subpoena? Well, the subpoena is directed to the IRS commissioner, who you mentioned has uh, extensive experience uh, on this matter, uh, but uh, Secretary Mnuchin has never let him answer the question. He responds with all the answers. I think that both of them uh, could be subject to fines or confinement. I think, you know, there's so many people out there from McGahn to Barr and others who are refusing to disclose and respond to the Congress. It's probably a matter of selecting one of them and moving forward to show how this power of inherent contempt could work. But here we are, you know, approaching Memorial Day, June is approaching, and this Congress has not filed any action concerning any of these matters. Uh, and I think we've got to take action and take it promptly. Uh, or the White House will conclude, we don't really mean it, we're just gonna talk and write letters. Congressman, let me ask you about one specific aspect of this. I yes. have been I have been interested, it's been sort of stuck in my craw, this issue about the number two official at the IRS, the chief counsel at the IRS. We now know from the Washington Post reporting that the previous chief counsel at the IRS appears to have drafted this memo, which says bluntly, yeah, that law makes it mandatory. We got to hand over the president's tax returns. We know from New York Times reporting that the president interceded directly to install a new chief counsel at the IRS of his own choosing as as soon as you Democrats took over control of the House and were sworn in, he was he was sort of rushed through the Senate right away in February at the president's personal insistence. He had previously advised Trump businesses on tax matters. He'd said during his confirmation process that he'd seek ethics advice about whether he need to be recused from any decision making involving the president's own taxes once he was at the IRS. We haven't been able to get any any word from the IRS as to whether he actually did that or whether this person personally chosen by the president um, who who has previous experience working for the president might himself have been involved with this decision making process at the IRS. Is that something that we should have a right to figure out that you think we might be able to chase down somehow? Absolutely. And uh, recusal seems to have gone out of fashion to this administration with Jeff Sessions. But there certainly should have been a recusal of this individual here. You know, we can't even find out whether Trump is under audit, has ever been under audit, has any basis. We've tried not only to get the returns, but to determine whether the audit actually ever occurred or is under audit now. That's other information that he could provide and has not provided. But it's consistent, as you pointed out, with what he's written in the past, the position he's taken of acting not on behalf of the public trust, but on behalf of Trump as his personal assistant much in the way that Attorney General Barr has become his personal attorney. Congressman Lloyd Doggett, member of the Thank House you. Ways and Means Committee. Sir, it's great to have you here. Come back soon. Thanks so much, Rachel. Thank you very much, sir. All right. It's all moving very, very fast. Uh, the vice chair of the Judiciary Committee is going to be here live in just a moment. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.